Hello, hello. In today's video, I want to do a review of Jasper AI for 2024 because I haven't really looked at this tool in a while and I really want to see what they're doing. As you can see here, they have updated the interface and I really want to look at this from a blogger's perspective because I, I recommended this tool before for social media and other because they had nice templates for that type of stuff. But I didn't really like the blogging section because it wasn't really that much better than ChatGPT, to be honest. So what was the point in spending money on it? I didn't really get that. And it really got left behind other AI writing blogging tools that, you know, are really good. So, so let's test it out now in... My other video about topical maps, which you can see on my channel, I'll leave a link up at the top there as well in the card. We talked about trendy neighborhoods in London. Okay, so one thing I like about this new Jasper is they have different types of posts. Okay, that's good because they probably hopefully have different prompts um, so that you get a better output. So this, I suppose, would be a listicle, right? A listicle is where you have number one, number two, number three. So Let's do a listicle post and see what we get here. Okay, so the topic of my listicle is seven up and coming neighborhoods in London. So let's see what we have to do here. They give us some options here that you can choose. I don't really see the point of that because it's not really relevant, is it? Um, and you can do who is your target audience. So let's say people moving to London. Okay, let's see what that does. Um, so the next part is the outline. This is very important for me when you're using an AI tool to use an outline so that, you know, even if you give this to a human person, a writer, it's better to have the right structure first. So they have a generate outline tool. Let's, let's see what we get here. Okay, so we got a nice outline here. I like this actually. I'm not sure if these are like new neighborhoods I guess so. My, some of my friends live in Brixton. Yeah, I suppose it's an up and coming neighborhood. Shoreditch, I think it's not really that up and coming, is it? But anyway, let's see how, what we get here and let's write the article. Okay, so I'll just move myself out of the way here and let's look at the content. So seven up and coming neighborhoods in London for new residents. Okay, we have an introduction here. It is pretty short. Usually I, I like to keep my introduction short, but uh, with an AI writing tool, I like to have it a bit longer so that I can delete parts. To be honest, there's not much fluff here, but I'm not really sure if I like these sentences. It's not really the way I write. And um, I know you can train your voice, add your voice into it, but I'm not sure if that really works. Well, I haven't tested it, so that's something you can test. Okay, so it's okay. It's better than it used to be anyway, for sure. They've definitely made some improvements. So I like the formatting here. This is very good. So yeah, the content is quite decent, to be honest. So it goes into the housing stock here. That's quite a nice little feature here I like. Um, and you know, that's, in, that's relevant information to the audience that I asked for. So I'm quite happy with that. So next up we have Peckham, okay. There's another area of London, okay. I think we get a bit of information and the housing options. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, it's decent. Next up is Brixton. Okay, I've been to Brixton. Yeah, there's a nice Caribbean community there. That's important to say, I think. Okay, so that's a pretty nice sentence there. The neighborhood has managed to hold on to this identity while adapting to the waves of gentrification, re resulting in an energetic synergy of new and old. Okay, it's not that's that's a pretty good sentence. I like that one. Okay, so we've gone through all of the options. We have the seven options that we wanted. So the tool has given us a pretty good blog post. It's not the best out in the market, I would say, but it's pretty damn good, right? One thing you can also do, which I like, is this. You can ask Jasper. You can. This is basically a content editor with AI built into it. So if you've seen other editors like this, Notion has something like this, but this is great, right? You can make it shorter and then replace the text, right? So that's an excellent tool for if you want to edit with AI. So while that was a pretty decent article, it lacks a little bit of where the AI blog writing tools have gone in the last year, and that's really adding automations. Typical automations that some AI blogging tools can do is directly upload to WordPress or Shopify, something like that. They can add internal links, external links, add images, all of that stuff to make the content better. They can add videos, some of them can do that as well. So let's look at another tool called Journalist AI and see how it compares to Jasper. So when you sign up for Journalist AI, you just need to generate articles and you come to this section here. So we're going to copy in our title here, the same title, so we can compare the output of both tools. So we can change the language here, the target country. 
This is a temperature model. If you want it to be more correctly factual or more creative, let's um, go towards more factual. Okay, so the tone of voice you can choose. Let's do this one. This is something that I like to use, professional, engaging, and helpful point of view. I often use um, the second person, so I'm talking to you. I think that's a good way to write. Always keep thinking of the person you're writing to, okay? And formality, I generally write in informal English. I think it's easier for people to write. And if you're telling the AI tool, okay, it often really wants to use formal English. So if you're literally telling it to use informal English, I think that will be better. So you can also add some custom instructions here. I don't think I'm gonna do that for this article because that might be unfair. You can also include exact keywords, so SEO keywords. You can also do that with Jasper, that was pretty cool, I thought. So this is important here, connect to the web, okay? So this is one of my favorite features because if this is using GPT, which it probably is one of the GPT 3.5 or 4 models, sometimes they have cutoff points, right, where they can't connect, they don't have information that's relevant over the last year or two. So if it's connected to the web, it can go out and search the top results and get some more information for its re research. So you can also add a, a knowledge base if you have your own data. So the next section is all about formatting. Okay, we can have words in bold. I might turn that off for this one. Tables, italics, and quotes. Let's keep the quotes one. So as you can see here, there are lots of different options. If you want, you can set a preset so you don't have to go through this every time, something that you're happy with. But for this, let's just do it. We don't need a call to action. Key takeaways, okay, it's a nice little section to keep things short at the top. Conclusion, so we can compare, frequently asked questions. Okay, that's nice, automate headings. And um, so you can add internal linking. So you just need to connect your sitemap to journalist AI, and then it will, it will scrape all of your website and it will find relevant links. So, and this is important for SEO, right? So that you can, and for your readers, right? So they can read other topics about uh, what your topic is about. Okay, we also have external linking. I think this is becoming more and more a factor in Google. I never really used to do this, but I think if you really want to show you're an expert, then maybe linking to, you know, TripAdvisor in this case or something like that gives you that little bit more authority. So uh, let's enable this. They also have images, okay? So you can choose different images. So you can have AI images, you can have stock images, all of that stuff. So that's really cool, right? Let's try stock images and see what we get. We have featured image and in article images, amazing. Let's see, let's also automate YouTube videos and see if we can include that too. So let's generate our article now and get started. So now we have our article from Journalist AI7, up and coming neighborhoods in London for new residents. Okay, so we got a nice photo here that looks like London. I'm not too sure exactly if it is, but anyway, it looks like it. Uh, we have a nice table of contents here. Okay, that's lovely. We can include that in our blog post. We also have a short introduction, which is great. That's what I like as well. And the key takeaways. Okay, the, there's four or five key takeaways. This is some good information, right? High Brain Islington is hit with students and young professional thanks to its lively streets and diverse dining scene. Okay, really nice. Really nice. And let's have a look now. So as you can see, it's broken down here into sections. So the first one is Westminster. I'm not really sure if that's an up and coming neighborhood, but we have a nice picture of Westminster Abbey, which is cool. And we have some really good writing here. Westminster boasts an old world charm that's find hard to find elsewhere in the city. Okay, it's, it sounds good, right? There's not too many um, weird AI words. Don't really see any, to be honest. And we also have this little quote section. Breaks up the text, right? It's really important when you're writing to break up the text. It's not, you know, big blocks of text. Those days are over. Please don't do that, especially because people are reading on their mobile phone, okay? So you can imagine when this is on a mobile phone, it even looks long when there's a sentence, two sentences like this. Okay, so the next one we have here is Stoke Newington. Okay, they have a picture here. Of course, we don't really know if this is actually in Stoke Newington, but it's possible. <laughs> It's possible, it's good. Okay, here we have one of the first outbound links. So this links to a property website, how to choose where to live in London. Okay, so that's great. That's exactly what we want. And we have the quoted section and continuing on, right? Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of this. You get a good idea of what it's like. They have links, bolded words, 
everything is quite longer so as you keep going down and down you can see there's actually like different formatting which is great it's easy on the eye i really like that and we have more and more links let's see where this one goes to so what's the text up and coming london gem brilliant okay that's exactly what we want and this is this is like a forum or something so people can find out more information about uh, the neighborhoods that they're looking for okay this picture is all right i think as we get further down yeah this is the picture obviously not really like notting hill but of course you can just edit like i said in my other video this is really just to edit this is your first draft so as you can see it's a really good first draft you want to be adding photos you want to be adding your own videos if possible that's why i talk about using writing about a topic that you already know about and if you live in a city then that's perfect you have this advantage that nobody else has right if you live in london you can go to the markets here in notting hill right that's true they do have markets don't they and you can take pictures and keep adding to this so this is just a first draft and then you add your pictures for social media and your text and videos for YouTube, for example, and then all together you've really dominated, right? But you've saved so much time by not having to write all of this out. And of course you can delete some of these, you know, maybe the Westminster probably isn't the best uh, up and coming uh, neighborhood in London because it's right in the center, right? It's not possibly the best one or maybe King's Cross, but as you can see, there's just loads here and there's a video here, how to spot an up and coming area and, and that's in London, right? Perfect. So that's a good picture of London, right? So we can keep that um, and different facts here. So give it a try and test out this journalist AI. You get three free articles. Going back to Jasper, as you can see, it's, you know, it's, it has improved. Definitely it has improved from what it was uh, a few years ago. I uh, really couldn't understand how it was so far behind the other ones. This is a tool, if you just really want a, a quick article, um, it's, it does the job, right? But if you want something uh, a little bit more detailed, and if you want to have these integrations, right, you can integrate into all of these things, WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, um, then Journalist AI is a good tool to check out. Okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you watched this far. That would be brilliant. I'm going to keep on talking about AI blogging and how to use AI with your websites.